Have you ever taken a moment to truly consider what makes you uniquely you? What are the underlying factors that contribute to your individual characteristics, your predispositions, and even your potential? The answer in its most fundamental form lies within the intricate structure of DNA, the secret language, the hidden code, and the comprehensive instruction manual residing inside every living thing on this planet. It's the very essence of our being, dictating everything from our physical traits to our inherent abilities. DNA is the ultimate blueprint of life, the master plan that connects all creatures, great and small, in an unbroken and continuous chain stretching back through the vast expanse of time. It's the common thread that unites us all. It's the intricate thread weaving the magnificent tapestry of biodiversity that we see around us, dictating the specific characteristics that define each species. It explains why a giraffe, for instance, has evolved to possess such a remarkably long neck, perfectly adapted for reaching the highest branches. Or why a rose, with its delicate petals and captivating fragrance, smells so exquisitely sweet, enticing pollinators and captivating our senses. Imagine a vast and sprawling library containing within its walls all the accumulated knowledge of the world, every story ever told, every scientific discovery ever made, all meticulously organized and shrunk down to fit inside the microscopic confines of a single cell. That, in essence, is DNA, a compact and incredibly efficient storage system for the information that governs life. Each book within this cellular library is a gene a discrete unit of heredity holding the specific instructions required for building and maintaining the various parts of an organism. These instructions determine traits like the color of your eyes, passed down through generations, or in the plant kingdom, the intricate and varied shapes of leaves, each perfectly adapted to its environment. This incredibly dense and efficient method of information storage is precisely what allows life to be so astonishingly complex, breathtakingly diverse, and endlessly fascinating. As we embark on this journey to explore the inner workings of DNA, we will unlock the very essence of what it truly means to be alive, to understand our place in the grand scheme of things. We'll begin to see, with ever-increasing clarity, how all living things, from the smallest microbe to the largest whale, are inextricably interconnected, forming a delicate and intricate web of life. What exactly is this magical substance, this remarkable molecule that holds the key to life itself? And how does it faithfully guide the spark of life from one generation to the next, ensuring the continuity of species? Let's begin our journey together, delving deep into the captivating world where the elegance of poetry intertwines seamlessly with the rigor of science as we explore the very essence of life itself. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, a complex name for a beautifully simple structure. Picture a twisted ladder or double helix spiraling elegantly inside every cell. The sides of this ladder are made of sugar and phosphate molecules providing strength and stability. The rungs are pairs of chemicals called bases which hold the genetic information. This spiral shape allows DNA to pack immense information into a tiny space. The double helix was discovered in 1953 by Watson and Crick, with crucial help from Rosalind Franklin's X-ray images. For the first time, we could visualize life's blueprint. The structure not only protects the code, but also explains how DNA can be copied and passed down. This elegant, twisted ladder is the foundation of modern genetics. It's a perfect marriage of form and function. DNA's shape is as practical as it is beautiful. Let's zoom in on the rungs of our DNA ladder. Each rung is made of two nucleotides, the building blocks of DNA. Every nucleotide has a sugar, a phosphate, and a base. One of four adenine, A, thymine, T, cytosine, C, or guanine, G. The sequence of these four letters forms the genetic code. Just as words are built from letters, genes are built from sequences of A, T, C, and G. This four-letter alphabet writes the instructions for every living thing. The difference between a human, a mushroom, and a whale is simply the order and number of these letters. The human genome contains about three billion of them, arranged in a unique sequence. This universal code connects all life on Earth. The true genius of DNA, the molecule of life, lies in the elegant simplicity of how its bases pair up. 
It's not just about the chemical structure, but the information encoded within this pairing that dictates everything from our hair colour to our susceptibility to certain diseases. Adenine, a purine base, always forms a bond with thymine, a pyrimidine base. This pairing is not arbitrary, it's dictated by the molecular structure and the number of hydrogen bonds that can form between them. Similarly, cytosine, another pyrimidine, always pairs with guanine, a purine. This specific pairing adenine with thymine and cytosine with guanine is what we call the base pairing rule. It's a fundamental principle of molecular biology. The two strands of DNA are not identical, but complementary. Think of them like matching sides of a zipper, where each tooth on one side corresponds to a specific tooth on the other. This complementarity is crucial because if you know the sequence of bases on one strand, you can automatically deduce the sequence on the other. It's a perfect mirror image, a failsafe built into the very structure of DNA. This inherent complementarity is what allows DNA to be copied with incredible accuracy. It's like having a template that ensures each new copy is a faithful reproduction of the original. And this accurate copying is essential for passing genetic information, the blueprint of life, reliably from one generation to the next, ensuring the continuity of species. The hydrogen bonds between the base pairs, while individually weak, are collectively strong enough to hold the DNA ladder together, providing structural integrity and stability. Yet these bonds are also weak enough to be unzipped or separated when needed, allowing access to the genetic information for processes like replication and protein synthesis. This elegant and dynamic system is the very foundation of heredity, meticulously ensuring that traits are passed down from parents to their offspring with remarkable precision. The specific sequence of these base pairs, stretching across millions upon millions of rungs on the DNA ladder, forms the genetic code and it is this unique sequence that ultimately makes each and every individual organism on this planet so wonderfully unique. It's a seemingly simple chemical attraction, yet it's powerful enough to write the entire story of evolution, shaping the diversity of life as we know it. DNA's ingenious base pairing system preserves the secrets of life with remarkable fidelity, acting as a biological vault for our genetic heritage. It's a truly perfect system, refined and honed over countless eons of evolution, a testament to the power of natural selection. In essence, the base pairing rule is not just a chemical phenomenon, it's the fundamental key to life's incredible continuity, ensuring the ongoing saga of existence. Deep within our cells lies the blueprint of life itself, DNA. This remarkable molecule holds the instructions for building and operating every living thing on Earth. But how does this intricate code, this double helix of genetic information, actually translate into the complex processes that define life? Think of DNA as a comprehensive recipe book, filled with countless instructions. Each gene within DNA acts as a specific recipe, carefully detailing how to make a particular protein, the body's microscopic worker. These proteins are the workhorses of the cell, performing a vast array of functions. Proteins form structures, providing the physical framework for our cells and tissues. They also speed up reactions, acting as catalysts to facilitate essential biochemical processes. And proteins carry out essential tasks, from transporting molecules to defending against invaders. They are the key players in the cellular orchestra. The genetic code, the language of DNA, is read in three-letter words called codons. Each codon codes for a specific amino acid, the building blocks of proteins. It's like a molecular alphabet where each three-letter combination specifies a particular component. The cell meticulously reads these instructions, decoding the genetic message. It then assembles amino acids in the precise order dictated by the codons and meticulously folds them into complex three-dimensional protein structures. Even a tiny change in the DNA sequence, a single mutation, can alter a protein's structure and function, potentially affecting the body in significant ways. Your genome, the entirety of your DNA, is the complete set of recipes, the comprehensive instruction manual for making you uniquely you. This intricate process of reading DNA and building proteins happens in nearly every cell of your body, all the time ensuring the continuous operation of life. 
DNA directs growth, orchestrating the development of organisms from single cells to complex beings. It guides healing, repairing damaged tissues and restoring function. And it ensures daily function by constantly making new proteins, replenishing and maintaining the cellular machinery. It's not just a static blueprint stored away. It's an active, dynamic recipe book, constantly consulted and updated. DNA is read and used every second of every day driving the processes that keep us alive and functioning. Life is a continuous dance of reading and following these instructions, a beautifully orchestrated symphony of molecular events guided by the code of DNA. Where is DNA stored? In complex life, it's kept in the cell's nucleus, a secure vault. DNA is tightly coiled into chromosomes to stay organized and protected. Humans have 46 chromosomes inherited in pairs from each parent. Different species have different numbers, but the organization is what matters. Simpler organisms, like bacteria, have their DNA floating freely in the cell, not in a nucleus. Even our mitochondria, the cell's powerhouses, have their own tiny loop of DNA, a relic of ancient symbiosis. So, each cell contains a main library in the nucleus and a small instruction booklet in the mitochondria. DNA's location tells the story of life's deep history. DNA's most vital job is making perfect copies of itself. Every new cell needs a complete set of instructions, so DNA replication is essential. The double helix unzips, exposing the code. Free-floating nucleotides match up with the exposed bases, following the base pairing rule. Enzymes link the new nucleotides together, building two identical DNA molecules. Each new DNA has one original and one new strand, semi-conservative replication. This process happens at incredible speed and accuracy with built-in proofreading. Mistakes are rare, less than one in a billion bases. DNA's replication system ensures life's continuity across generations. Sometimes, mistakes slip through during DNA replication. These are mutations. Most mutations have no effect, but some can change a gene and alter a protein. Mutations can be caused by copying errors or by external factors like radiation. Some lead to genetic diseases, but others create new traits. Beneficial mutations drive evolution, allowing species to adapt and diversify. Over time, these changes shape the incredible variety of life on Earth. Mutations are both the source of genetic disorders and the engine of evolution. They are the sparks of creativity in life's story. DNA is the universal language connecting all living things from bacteria to blue whales. We share most of our DNA with other species, 99% with chimpanzees, 60% with bananas. Understanding DNA has revolutionized medicine, forensics, and agriculture. It helps us diagnose diseases, solve crimes, and grow better crops. But most importantly, DNA reveals our deep connection to all life. It's a reminder that we are part of a vast, interconnected web. By exploring DNA, we learn what it means to be human and appreciate the unity of life on Earth. The blueprint of existence is within us all, a beautiful reminder of life's miracle.